Proverbs chapter 21. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He directs it like a watercourse wherever he pleases. All a man's ways seem right to him, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. The plans of the diligent lead to profit, as surely as haste leads to poverty. A fortune made by a lying tongue is like a fleeting vapor in a deadly snare. The violence of the wicked will drag them away, for they refuse to do what is right. The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Better to live on the corner of a roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. The wicked man craves evil. His neighbors get no mercy from him. When a mocker is punished, the, sim the simple gain wisdom. When a wise man is instructed, he gets knowledge. The righteous one takes note of the house of the wicked and brings the wicked to ruin. If a man shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, he too will cry out and not be answered. A gift given in secret soothes anger, and a bribe concealed in the cloak pacifies great wrath. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. A man who strays from the path of understanding comes to rest in the company of the dead. He who loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and oil will never be rich. The wicked become a ransom for the righteous and the unfaithful for the upright. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and ill-tempered wife. In the house of the wise are stores of choice food and oil, but a foolish man devours all he has. He who pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. A wise man attacks the city of the mighty and pulls down the stronghold in which they trust. He who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from calamity. The proud and arrogant man, Mocker is his name, he behaves with overwhelming pride. The sluggard's craving will be the death of him, because his hands refuse to work. All day long he craves for more, but the righteous give without sparing. Sacrifice of the wicked is detestable. How much more so when brought with evil intent? A false witness will perish, and whoever listens to him will be destroyed forever. A wicked man puts up a bold front, but an upright man gives thoughts to his ways. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can concede against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord.